Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of using a tree structure to compute the chain rule for a function of several variables. So suppose we're given a function, if we're given w, which is a function f of x, y, and z, and let's suppose that x is a function a of u and v, that y is a function b of u and v, and z is a function c of u and v, and furthermore, let's suppose that u and v are themselves functions. Let's suppose that u is some function, let's say, g of s and t, and v is a function h of s and t. And our objective now is I would like to find the partial derivative of w with respect to t. Now, there's a lot to unpack here, so this is where tree diagrams come in handy. So we're going to look at this tree diagram. I'm going to look at a variable w. And w is going to depend on x, y, and z. So w will depend on x, will depend on y, and it will depend on z. Now, x is going to depend on u and v, u and v. y is going to depend on u and v. And z will depend on u and v. And then u and v themselves depend on s and t. So there's going to be an s over here, a t over here, an s over here, a t over here, an s over here, a t over here, an s over here, a t over here s over here, t over here, s and t. So we see there's lots of dependence, there's lots of ways that w depends on t's and based on the branches of this tree. So for example, there's one, we can look at each of the branches in which w depends on t. So here's one particular branch, w by x, w by u, and then u by s. So let's look at this branch over here. And so let's begin our computation of the chain rule. So the chain rule, partial w, partial t, is going to be, let's look at this yellow trajectory over here. This yellow branch of my tree is going to give me partial w, partial x, partial w, partial x, then partial x, partial u, partial x, partial u, and then partial u, well, I want a partial t, actually, so this trajectory actually goes over here. I circled the s by accident, so that the branch actually is going to go over here, so let's actually get the right branch. So the branch is going to go like this to get to a t. There we go. That's the branch over there. And I'm going to get a partial u, partial t, partial u, partial t. Now let's go along another branch. I can get to t based on this trajectory. I can go from x to v, and then from v to t. So that's another trajectory we can possibly get. And what will that give us? That will give us a contribution of partial w, partial x, and then partial x, partial v, and then partial v, partial t, partial v, partial t. That's my green trajectory. A couple more to go over here. Let's look at this trajectory over here. I can go from w to y, from y to u, and from u to t. That's one other trajectory. So that'll give me what? That'll give me partial w, partial y. And then I'm going to do partial y, partial u, partial y, partial u. And then partial u, partial t, partial u, partial t. All right. Next trajectory, let's go back over here. So I can go from w to y to v to t. That's another way we can go. And so that will give me what? That will give me plus, of course. All these things are concatenating with a plus sign. Plus partial w, partial y. Then partial y, partial v. Partial y, partial v. And then partial v, partial t. Now we go to the z variables. What can we do for the z variables? Well, let's look over here. I can do w to z to u, and then u to t. That's another trajectory, so I'm going to get partial w, partial z, partial z, partial u, and then partial u, partial t. One more to go. The last trajectory we're going to get is the following. You're going to go from w to z to v to t. So we're going to do partial w, partial z, partial z, partial v, and then partial v, partial t, partial v, partial t. And so what we do, and so the important thing we can summarize from this is, so this is our expression for partial w, partial t, is those six terms over there, because there's six ways you can depend on t. And the important thing is that we, with these tree diagrams, we follow every branch until we see the, the, the variable on the very bottom over here. So the, the objective here is that we always follow each branch that ends in the variable you're differentiating with respect to. With which you are differentiating. Thank you very much.